Okay, so this tutorial is mostly focused on those who may, for example, only have a phone um, to do content creation as well as are more familiar with Facebook. So that's why I chose to show you how you can do that using the Business Suite app, which is through Facebook, but also allows you to post um, on Instagram. The apps that I would download are the Facebook app, the Business Suite app, the Instagram app, obviously. Um, if you go into your Safari, you can see here business Meta Business Suite. Um, that's the app that you want to download. And then here I have my Dropbox. Um, it's going to be useful, you know, to be able to access the artists, um, both images and bios to use as content. Um, for example, uh, Lee, if I want to save his picture to my files before I post, because as you will see, you know, when you are posting, you're going to want to have your images already saved to your photos. So there it is, it's saved. Um, that way, when you go into your business suite, you would just click on this photo video and then that way you can access photos. So like, for example, did you see how it's not on here? Well, you go to manage and then you select more photos and then there, you know, you select what photos you want and then they're there ready to access. Um, now I chose to do mine, my tutorial video on um, Susan Atkins. So what I'm gonna do is um, you go into here, you go into create a post, but instead of writing out your post right away into this, what I do so that you don't lose your work in case something goes wrong, is um, to write your post into uh, the notes, for example, um, and then copy and paste it. Um, so since Susan's folder as you can see here, I don't know why, but it's empty. This is, you know, what you can do is you can always go into Safari, go to the Dixon Studio Tour, find them on the list, see if they have a website, go to their website, and then you can screenshot images. And um, usually there's some text like an about page where you can go in and take some of that information and repurpose it. Um, so that's what I've done here. I went ahead and I created the text for my post. I included her website. I included her Instagram handle. Um, I didn't see a Facebook page for her, so I didn't include that there. And then hashtags. Obviously, we want to make sure that we use the Dixon Studio Tour hashtag. So that's a more of a narrow down hashtag and then a wider scope. So sewing, crochet, you know, so on and so forth. If they have a Facebook page or an Instagram page, you can also go in and see what kind of hashtags they like to use and you can also reuse those because then you you know more specifically their audience and that's a great way of, of capturing um, their audience for our purposes as well. So I copied and I pasted that. Now I'm gonna go back into the business suite, which is this one. I'm going to paste my text in here. And um, this is a great tool to find hashtags. So anything that, um, for example, saved, but we don't have any saved, we can start saving them, but popular. So if you want a popular hashtag for sewing, you can find the most popular hashtags as well as you know the more narrowed down hashtags for more specific um, audience reach. Um, but here I have my hashtags. Okay, now we want to upload our photos. So these are some of the screenshots that I took. Um, oh, you know what? I need to actually, that one was not cropped properly so let's use these four for now 
Okay, and then we go to next. Now, if you want to publish now, you can publish now and then just hit publish, or you can schedule for later. Um, here, like for example, let's say that you signed up to post on Thursdays. You can set it up for Thursday. You can look up what are some of the best times to post on uh, Facebook and Instagram, you know, on certain days. But, you know, just keep it simple. Usually uh, sometime around 7 o'clock, um, just use something that you think is, is the best for, for the two, a medium between the two for, for times. And um, then you would hit publish. Yep. And then schedule. And then here you can see that it is scheduling it. And now if you want to go in to see where it's at, you can go to more and then planner. And here you can see where it's scheduled. Um, if you made a mistake and you want to go in and edit it, you can go here to edit the post. Um, and then you can also, let's say, oh no, I want to reschedule the post. I accidentally posted at the same time or the same day somebody else, you know, hopefully we can avoid that, obviously, if we have a schedule. Um, but yeah, so anyway, there are some of your options. Um, yeah, and then that's it. If you want to create new content, you can go in and schedule another one and you can create as many as you can for let's say a week or two weeks, however long you want so that you don't have to worry about scheduling week by week or day by day. Um, you can schedule as many as you want so that you can just be done with it. If you have any questions, um, let me know and yeah, I'm here to help. Hope this helps. Okay.